Hello, good afternoon. Happy uh, Easter to everyone who celebrates it. Happy, happy bunny day. Uh, what else is it? I don't know. I don't, I don't know what else is correlated with Easter. Uh, egg day. Uh, good day to eat boiled eggs. Good day to eat fried eggs. All sorts of eggs. No, uh, don't eat bunnies though. I mean, I've had, I've had rabbit or like hair before, but you know. Don't eat bunnies, they're too cute for that. <laughs> um, so, I'm finally back today, after a week or so. It's only been a week or so, right? It hasn't been longer uh, to do Ending D in Near Replicant. Uh, truth be told, <laughs> truth be told, um, I did want to stream earlier in the week, but few things came up and uh, I ended up playing uh, another another game related to, to the letter D, uh, that being Dragon's Dogma 2. Yeah, so I got about 40 hours in there. Wait, let me check my Steam stats. Uh, four, 38 hours in. Um, it, it's fine, don't worry about it. Don't worry about it. So... Uh, wait a minute. This is the wrong save. We don't need this. Um, no. Skip this. Skip this. We have to go back to the other save. Yeah. So, right, the thing is, is that you don't need the sticker, the stamp for ending C to do ending D. Right. So, I'll just live forever with the... A save file with only what well, A B D E. I guess that's how it'll be until I, you know, 100% near replicant. You know, which is gonna happen within the next three days. Such an ominous sight. Clearly. And yet I find it strangely nostalgic. And now. I feel like pretty well acquainted to this whole path now. I mean, this is what the third time we're doing it in about a month. I was gonna say like a week or so, but <laughs> the thing is that the streams aren't that uh, regular, unfortunately. All right, let's do this stupid puzzle to which only Emil reacts. All right. To who do you think I want the heck I've been here? To, to who I why did you they disappeared because their lives are short that's just how it is uh, short cruel uh, brutish something thanks Tom I Hobbs answer, what's his name because Thomas of Hobbs black disease something Hobbs I how uh separate body from soul I, we go in the shells I, you you well then it seems the way is open I don't know if I feel like skipping all the cutscenes or not. Because the thing is, we've done this like, you know, infinite times by this point. Oh, Nier, do you want to go back to the village? Popla. Hey, this is a very dangerous place. Even if you can find Yona here, you- Oh, Okay, let's go back. Let's spend another 30 minutes and go back. We're here to- No, no, I suppose not. How sad. So the thing is, is that I'm not really that confident uh, in my ability to remember the controls again for this game. We didn't want to fight. Because I've just been like, you know, accustomed to the we controls for Dragon's Dogma. Really didn't want to. So I hope this doesn't end up in like a complete disaster. So the attack keys are Y and X, right? That's What's the same. Happening? Sorry, this fate was oh, jump is different. Stay. Jump. Spoke the jump is, is it different? Really I think it's different. We were That's hoping to put it on the ground. Until the next generation came along. I think it's dodging this game. Okay. Right, trigger. Are they shades? I don't think so. It's a lie! I don't believe it! We never thought you'd grow to be this powerful. 
Oh right, this is this. You have no cause to speak so with us, Grimoire Vice. You are a traitor. Uh, I keep pressing the stupid dodge key for Dragon's Dogma instead of the uh, dodge key for the stupid one. At least just make controls like standardized across all games for control, honestly. Or like, you know, keyboard and mouse too, I guess. For people who use a keyboard. Still speaking. I guess. Copy my powers. Shit on a shingle. They can use the sealed verses. Of course we can. The power came from us in the first place. We were simply alone a small portion of it. Vice! Are you alright? Tevola! Popola! Why are you guys doing this? Why are you siding with the shades? Just be remembering not liking the knockback in this game. <laughs> Why? The answer to every riddle lies within the heart of the Shadow Lord. The Shadow Lord? So you've been on his side this whole time? You must search for that answer yourself. You've got to face your own truth now. Please enter the Shadow Lord's castle. See you guys in about like 20 minutes or so. You think they just like fly up and like Devil and go back to their like chairs yes, just to sit? They do seem to be putting us through a great like, deal of. What are you doing there? You okay, Vice? How odd. For long years, my mind and tongue have been my greatest assets. But now the latter seems to be... <laughs> Hell. Vice? Do not look at me like that. I am Grimoire Vice. I am Pope Wolf. Right. Open the door. Is this even the right door? It is. I think I hear a waltz. The ending CND would end up being like more about the Shadow Lord and stuff. But it seems like it's about uh, Kaine. Which, you know, kind of makes sense, I guess, in a way. But I don't know. Because they did drop all those hints about like, oh yeah, Devil and Popola were like orchestrating the whole thing, kinda. But I don't know. I guess they're gonna go into that in ending E or something. That's just my guess. But I don't even know if that's gonna happen or not. Really stop getting hit, and I won't be like flying all over the place. I 
hate these guys. Can you stop buying? Can you stop? Can you stay still? Damn it! Won't stop coming. I'll open the next door. Cover me. Stop. <laughs> I feel like I've lost like all my HP just to like those two. Protect the hustle, yes? Good plan, let's go. Protect Kaine for us! I'm doing the best protecting I can right now. Kaine! Hurry! It's not open yet? Do I look like a goddamn locksmith to you? Where's the cushion? Is it gone now? Wait, I actually am about to. Wanna open? Fine. I'll just break it down. Good. Good plan. Goddamn no good bullshit bastard! Open the fuck up already! Good work, Kenny. Got it. Kylie, look out! About how this works, you like the parents just like throw all the babies like just behind the door. You know, like when you have like a super messy closet. Well, I don't know if that really happens in an but like in anime where you just like stuff the closet full. That was with the babies. Ball without dealing with the kids. I mean, okay. I don't know, get a babysitter. Don't throw them behind the door. <laughs> just leave them there. They're just piling up. Like, how are they gonna get them out? How are they gonna get them out? They just have like a sacrifice. They're like, oh, you're the worst dancer at the party. Uh, open the door and get squashed, please. Did this again for 300 times. This thing. Oh. oh no! Hey, I didn't know you were in the game. I am now. I can't stop. 
I I am the game. I am I'm the near replicant. Stay focused, Kaine. Don't fall victim to such distractions. Come on! We have to keep going! Let's go! Can we go? Isn't it long? Oh wait, she opened it. Let's go. Okay. This way! Move! Wait, I went to the wrong <laughs> They all look the same, it's not my fault. Game looks fun. Yeah, it's pretty fun. Um it's more more of a story-based game than like a gameplay based game, I would say. How can we deal with this? Okay, here. Like if you um were looking for like a purely I don't know, fun all around experience. I'd probably say that Nier Automata is probably better than Replicant. Um, mostly because this is like a remake of like a far older game, right? But I think Replicant is still pretty fun in and of itself. Automata is far more polished. They did polish a lot of things uh, for the remake of Replicant. It's just that there's a lot of things that remain from, you know, the original game because basically it's basically it's still the original game just with a fresh coat of paint mainly changing like a uh, combat and stuff the entrance is locked too it seems we are in a bit of a predicament but yeah automata has 2b uh, replicant has kaine so it's your choice <laughs> Or really, if you want to know more about some of the other side stuff in in the world, because it's in the same uh, same world, basically uh, loosely related. And you got a new Like you're any different. Hate is just another crush for you. Hey now. You're in pain, you're lonely, no one likes you. So you try to hide it under violence and hate. I'm not like that at all! It's okay. So bottom part is health. Yeah, uh, this specific boss keeps reviving, basically. Just so... <laughs> we just need to keep spawn killing it until, uh, until it's done. I'm too far gone, you That's why we... After a while, it'll start being like craziness. Everyone 
watched Berserk before. I haven't watched it, but uh, I've read a bit of the manga. Um, I guess it was around the point where like they got on the boat. Uh, the part that lasted like a really long time. <laughs> yeah, um, I did want to continue reading it at some point, but I kind of just forgot about it and just went into the pile of manga and just, you know, left alone forever. How's it been recently? Have you been uh, keeping up with the, the original stuff or just uh, watching the anime? Watch the anime on YouTube. Oh, okay. Open the damn door! <laughs> the 97 one? Yeah, that's the one I heard was good. Knock it off already. Let's go. Kaine. He's fighting for you. And for Fira. Don't let him die for nothing. My friend. I feel like after that, right? There hasn't really been a good ad adaptation since, right? <laughs> That's really unfortunate, uh, given you know how how much everyone likes the series. I mean, it's definitely you know a classic, but personally, personally, I wouldn't say it's. One of my favorites? I mean, not saying it's bad or anything. Uh, I think objectively it's, you know, a really, really strong work. But um, for me, I, I just like, I don't know. I'd say weirder stories, but the thing is, is that Berserk is already pretty weird, right? <laughs> uh, if you know a lot of like the, the famous scenes uh, for from Berserk, it's, um, it's quite, how would you say, um... <gasps> the things that happen are pretty uncommon, uh, <laughs> to many stories. Oh, look. You made it. But still, I don't know. Um, I, I guess the whole, like, battle-type, um, stories aren't really for me. I mean, I, I can endure it, you know, for an amount of time. It's just, like, I, I don't really like, uh, the whole, like, super grim, super dark, uh, full of guts and, and blood type thing. We've been waiting for so long. Why are you doing this? It's definitely a really good uh, manga though. Definitely good story, uh, don't get me wrong. It began 1300 years ago. Humanity, finding itself on the brink of extinction, undertook a last ditch rescue plan called Project Gestalt. Yes. Do you still not remember, Grimoire Vice? Then let's give you a refresher. Vice! My... mind. Who's your favorite Berserk character? Um... Uh, that's hard to say. I mean... Hmm. I would say I like... I don't know, because on some level, everyone... Uh, does everyone like Griffith? I, <laughs> I like Griffith uh, an amount, uh, but, you know, post everything that happened... I like um, Band of the Hawk Griffith, you know, when he was uh, still, still good, kind of. <laughs> when he and Guts were still buddies, that was nice. That was good. I like that. You know, after that, uh, <laughs> a bit, a bit questionable, right? In terms of motives and actions, you know, just a little bit on, on the villain meter. <laughs> so that kind of makes it, you know, hard to say he's my favorite character. Hmm. I mean, yeah. <laughs> um, Guts is cool. I mean... He has obviously got some stuff going on as well, but I don't know. I think the thing with Berserk is that a lot of the characters are, you know, they do a pretty good job of making the characters like not just one dimensional. 
like they have their own motivations and stuff and obviously don't always do good things and don't always do bad things. I think they're pretty good about that, but uh, because of that, I don't know. And because I haven't read it for a while, it makes it hard to say, you know, precisely who's my favorite character, but I do like um, non-evil Griffith quite a bit. I... I remember Devola, Opala. You are not human. In fact, oh no. Uh, who's your favorite Berserk character? I like Banner the Hawk, Griffith more than I thought you were going to say Griffith did nothing wrong. No, <laughs> I would never say that. He did plenty of wrong. He knows exactly what he did wrong. He did so much wrong. <laughs> Yeah, sometimes the truth can be a real bitch. You want to finish that thought for him, sister? All of us, every person standing in this room, are mere shells created by the true humans. What are you saying? You still don't get it? You aren't human. So then humans, I mean, the true humans, are extinct? No, they still live on. You know them as shades. Each shade is a twisted remnant of what was once a human being. Crazy, huh? Now let's skip the part where you stand there with your mouths agape and just get down to business. Wait. Wait. Sorry, but we're gonna be needing that shell of yours. The rightful owner has been waiting for a very long time. Please don't be angry with us. We are only doing our duty. Our endless existences have a single purpose. To control the lives of others in accordance with the will of the true humans. Favorite is Guts, Casca, and Band of the Hawks, Griffith. Yeah. Yeah, I would agree with that. Like, I think those are pretty much the, the main picks, right? Um, I like Casca, but the thing is, is like, after when she has like the whole amnesia thing going on, I feel like that, well, for me at least, it felt like sh her character was like that for a long time and it wasn't really going anywhere, which was pretty disappointing. So so that's why I kind of excluded her from my favorites personally. But, you know, once she is kind of like a real character, uh, I think that that's not too bad. You have your own motives, your own desires. And we have ours. I fear it really is just that simple. Don't speak such foolish mess. <sighs> Sorry. But yeah, I mean, I... I loathe to admit it, but... I am an We're avid safe. liker of... Tools in the kind hands of trash of anime, trash manga. No. I mean... <laughs> Nothing like you. I'll read just the the most, you know, fast food type anime or stories, you know, imaginable. I'll be like, yeah, that was good. Uh, you know, obviously not like objectively good, but good in, in the sense that it was an enjoyable experience. I love you. Devil! Devil! 
Don't you go. No, no, I can't be alone. I figured out the key Don't to blow. Do this, you and Devil were like parents to me. Those two have watched the world. You take damage when you block, which is pretty nice. Just to knock back. The coolness of such a fate is difficult to imagine. I don't want to do this. I don't want to fight her. Stop bitching and start fighting. It's the only way. Unfortunately for you, this stream is about to end in about an hour and a half, so <laughs> that's when it'll stop. Well, I say about to end, but we're only 30 minutes in. I fear we're done for. It'll be all right. <gasps> You know, when I was young, I... I hated my eyes. Also, the 2016 and Guts, Dragon Slayer making pause every time. Uh, pause sounds every time it hits anything. It's like ASMR. <laughs> you and I have uh, pretty different um, views on ASMR, I would say. I thought ASMR was supposed to be like making funny sounds into the mic. I mean, I guess pause are a type of funny sound. Goodbye, my friends. But for everything. It's supposed to be enjoyable, isn't it? I mean Emil. far be it from me to tell you what when to find enjoyable, but destroy. But pots really. But now I have a chance to save something. Um there's I think five main routes. So so far we've done A, B, and C. Okay. Right now we're doing D, and after that is E. But the thing is with um, B, C, and D is that they're pretty similar. So that's that's why I've pretty much seen like all these cutscenes and stuff already. Uh, it'll be like basically the same up until the very end of this uh, route here, which is I think the next boss fight coming up. Well, after that boss fight, I, I should say. Kaine's so unstable, and Vice can't stop arguing with people. I hope they can hold it together once I'm gone. I guess they'll just have to learn.
Oh wait, did they also have this? I'm not gonna read it this time. There's just so much. Uh, yeah, so the thing is with like the near games is that, you know, to fully enjoy them, you're gonna have to have a tolerance for like a certain level of repetition. Um, and like I said earlier, the sequel kind of game to this one, um, Automata, if you've played it, or if you've not played it, I should say, uh, it's definitely better about the whole repetition thing because in that game, it only really repeats uh, one time. Whereas in this one, it's about like four four repetitions, at least at least so far, okay? We don't know anything about Root E, but I'm, I'm expecting it's gonna be different. I, th I would say it's worth it though, um, because if you just play through one time, especially in Replicant, you don't really get uh, a full experience, I would say. And in Automata, you definitely don't because, you know, how things diverge. But you really need to play this one uh, a pretty good amount of times to get the, you know, the whole story. What was different about Root A? Um, so in Root A for this game, you pretty much see it through the eyes of the main player character. Uh, that being, well, I would say that being the main character, comma, near, but he doesn't really have a name, uh, sort of. <laughs> I, for simplicity, right, we can just call him near. Um, it's basically through the, the, the point of view of near, right? So you're fighting all these things you see as monsters. You don't really, you don't really understand what's going on other than that they're like evil. In Route B and beyond though, uh, you start to see things more through the other characters' perspectives. And also you kind of uh, gain, I guess, the cognition of uh, Kaine, who is half shade, half human. Uh, so she can understand actually what, you know, the monsters are saying and stuff. And it makes it, it makes it so that your previous journey um, feels, I guess, heavier. Uh, than previously because previously you know in route a you feel like you're doing the right thing all the time right uh there's these monsters these shades you know going around doing harm killing people stuff like that basically they're not good uh but the thing is is that in route b and beyond you come to realize actually that uh they're actually human uh they're actually human and probably in some manners of measuring it more human than you because the thing is, is that um, the player characters, all of them, they actually have no souls. They're just the bodies um, of humans, I guess you could say. And the shades are actually the souls that have been extracted. And what's happening is that, well, what, what's supposed to happen in the, the world is that the souls were supposed to go back into the, the shells, but um, something's happened. And they went crazy and started, you know, causing mayhem. Basically, that's kind of the um, the rundown of the um, the story, I guess. <laughs> it's not a really good uh, summary, but that's uh, <laughs> that's the best I can do right now. But basically, um, in root B and stuff. It's the same gameplay wise, but you get more, you get deeper into like what's actually happening. Changed a bit, have you, lazy bones? 
And the thing with the uh, Emil, the character that we're talking about right now, is that uh, he had a twin sister. Well, are they twin sisters or siblings? Uh, and basically, they were being researched on, and um, the sister Halua was turned into a monster kind of creature, uh, and Emil was turned into like a kind of Medusa type creature. <laughs> well, he still had a human body at least, but uh, Halua didn't. And what happened in the story was uh, eventually things happened and now Emil is in Halloween's body. So that's why he looks like a weird skeleton creature. No, Emil, you're not dead. I'm just here to keep my promise. But yeah, I think um, for, for Replicant, there's like a lot of layers of understanding you kind of need to get. Uh, to kind of enjoy this story. I told you I'd always be watching. Don't worry about it, you bot. Sorry, Emil. But you will always watch. Don't. I want you to be fun. You'll live.
let's go. Yeah. That cutscene kind of hits different after ending C. I'm gonna be honest. <laughs> I'm like, oh my god, their faces are so close together. What's gonna happen? What's gonna happen, you guys? I mean, obviously we know what happened. I don't know. Missed opportunity, I'd say. Missed opportunity. I want to know if there's going to be another similar uh, scene happening for Rudine, but maybe it was only one direction. I should play Undertale Yellow, it's really good. I've heard of it, um, I don't know, I, I just know m vaguely there's like some controversy, right? Uh, that's pretty much all I know about Undertale Yellow. I played the original Undertale, I thought it was really good. I mean, both story, music, visual design, uh, pretty good, right? One of, one, of the t one of the indie games of all time, probably one of the better ones, obviously, but... Uh, yeah, I played the original. I haven't really... I meant to play Delta Rune <laughs> at some point. I haven't done that. Um, yeah. Undertale Yellow, is it a fan project? to Undertale Yellow Symphony. I feel like in the original game though, I still have stuff I kind of wanted to do. Like I still wanted to do the um, the genocide run. I did Pacifist, but uh, genocide I wanted to do, but it seems hard. <laughs> Okay, 
brother. Yoda. someone else's body. I don't want it. There's another girl inside this body. I can hear her. She won't stop crying. She says she wants to see her brother. You're not being possessed? This girl loves her brother too, just as much as I do. It's not right, you know? It's not right that she can't see him. Say the possessor is gone. Kaine, watch over Yoda for me. I understand your sadness. Think I'm gonna sympathize with you? Stand aside or be cut down. Now come on, let's finish this. Hey man, almost dead. Strong idiot has decided to push me beyond my limits. I should have taken that job as a cookbook when I had the chance. Nice. 
sorry. Sorry. Only joking. I hate cookbooks. But let's go out of the way. I have one final task to fulfill. Where are you going? Why to stop him, of course. But after that, it's up to you. Only you can see this battle to its conclusion. I wish you luck, my friend. You can't. I swore I'd always fight by your side. You are an exceedingly stubborn lad. You know that, yes? Perhaps that's why I've so enjoyed our time together. But I fear this is where our journey ends. Vice! Oh, and remember what I told you about using my full name. <sighs> well, forget it. I've grown rather fond of Vice. Vice. I knew you'd come around. Don't let it go to your head now. Don't worry about Vice hating the books. He hates everything. He's a hater. What they should do is have like a modern version of Replicant, where instead of having, you know, for more Vice as a book, it's like, you know, a tablet, an ebook reader. It'd be like the Amazon. Uh, Vice is like the Amazon. Is it? Is it called a Kobo? And then uh, Grimoire Nor is like an iPad or something. I guess they kind of already did that with like Blue Archive. Sunshine, that black scrawl has almost completely taken you over. Yeah, I know. But goddamn, we had fun, huh? Killing and killing and more killing. What a rush. Yeah. Wait. No. No, no, no. It wasn't fun at all. I turned you into a killing machine. I spread evil and chaos around the world. But it all feels so empty now. Why? I don't understand. Deep down, Tyran wants a smooch from near too. Sorry. Looks like you stayed inside me for a little too long. Sunshine. Stop! Don't be nice to me! Don't make me feel like this! I'm gonna swallow you up, Sunshine. Gonna swallow you whole. Kaine? What is it? Listen to me. The shade inside me is growing, and I can't stop it. Soon. Real soon. I'm gonna go berserk. She's gonna go berserk, 1997. I can't hold it back anymore. Kaine, you have to fight. You have to- Just shut up and listen to me. Neil is gone, all right. So there's no way anyone can stop me. Comes to that. I want you to 
to kill me. Consider it enough of a request. Sunshine, it's not like I can stop it. When Gestalts go out of control, they lose their minds. Both of our memories will be completely overridden. Kaine. Bioshock before. I played um Bioshock Infinite. I haven't played the first two though. Well, there might be one way to save her. Who said that? It don't matter, so don't ask. Just shut up and listen. Wait, are you? I said listen! There's a way to save Kaine's life, alright? But you're gonna have to make a difficult decision. Do whatever it takes. When the time comes, I'm going to pin Kaide down. And as soon as I do, you need to stab him in the heart. No, I can't. Fine. Don't believe me. Stand around with your thumb up your ass and watch her die in ten Now, if you want to save your precious Kaine, there are two ways to do it. One is to plunge your sword into her chest. That's what she wants after all. Freedom from burdens, freedom from life. What's the other way? The other way is to make her a normal human being again. But to make that happen, you gotta trade your own existence for hers. Well, there you go. Good luck with that. You're that shade. The one who lives inside Kaine. Why are you trying to help her? Probably for the same reason you are. Enough talk. Make your choice. First and second are great. Yeah, I've heard. Um, I've heard like both story-wise and gameplay-wise they're pretty good. I just haven't really gotten around to playing them. I really wanted to, um, especially because like the setting seems pretty interesting. From what I understand, they're like, um, it's kind of like an underwater city, right? Uh, Rapture. Seems pretty, pretty interesting, but um, it's one of those games that I'll probably like get around to doing one day. I don't know, maybe, maybe soon, maybe soon. Cause I definitely want to know, you know, what exactly goes on and stuff um is it because i i think the gameplay for infinite is quite different from one and two right um from one and two is it more like a stealth based game all right 
So for ending D though, um, last time we killed Kaine for ending C, but this time we will save her and sacrifice ourselves. You'll disappear from this world. Your sister, your friends, everyone in your life will forget you. You and any sign that you ever existed will be erased. But in exchange, Kaine will return to her mortal life. Wait a minute. If you choose this option, all of your save data will be erased. Hold on. <laughs> what? <gasps> I wasn't expecting- I wasn't ready for this. What? <laughs> oh. <laughs> That's so cool. That's not cool for me, though. <laughs> I mean, we have to, right? We have to say yes, otherwise it's... <laughs> um, it's the only way. All of it? <laughs> All of it? You can't leave just a little bit of the data for me? If you, even if you elect against it this time, you can always return to this selection by clearing the game again. Are you still sure about this? Am I sure about this? Since you'll be forgotten by everyone, your save file will also erase too. Yeah, I guess, um, yeah. <laughs> That's how it is, I guess. Oh man. I guess we have to do it, right? I wonder how that works though. Like, how can you just erase your existence to bring someone back to life? Is that just like Tyran's power specifically? Or is that just something you can do? I mean, clearly you can't, right? But I, I guess we have to. <laughs> I guess we have to. All save data will be erased. So you can only choose this option once. Are you really sure about this? They really, they're really making it a hard choice. <laughs> well, what if I say no? If I say no, it will just do ending C again. Man. This is your last chance to change your mind. Are you really, really sure about this? <laughs> yes, Yoko Taro, I'm very, very sure. Wait, should I type it in? <laughs> what if you forgot what you named your character? Like, it's over, that's it. Game's done. Oh, there's even an animation for it. That's crazy. <laughs> All my hours spent grinding at the junk heap, gone. Everything, gone. Wait, the weapons too? Oh my god, grinding all the weapons for the stupid quest? Or the stupid ending? My one single fish? Gone. <laughs> I thought I fished more than once, but apparently not, I guess. Wait, I didn't read any of those yet. I didn't read any of them. My rock collection, also gone. It's so over. Well, I think the fish will be forgotten. Well, <laughs> yeah, it will be. Poor fish. 
You just have to play the game again if you want to read them, I guess. <gasps> oh, painful. I don't want that. But at least Kaine's alive again. Wait, they don't even have time. There's not, not even like a moment for her to wake up and like... She doesn't remember near either. Are you all right? Yona? It was you, the one who helped me, I mean. Wasn't it? <sighs> Thank you so much. I'm glad you're okay. <sighs> What's wrong? Okay, so much for being forgotten. I mean, you defeated the Shadow Lord and everything, but you... You don't look happy. I don't? This is a lunar tear. How pretty. <sighs> Are you crying? Um, yeah. I guess I am. She lost it. I mean, there has to be something else after this, right? There has... <laughs> there has to be. Ending C had nothing after this. After the, um... The credits, but... But surely, surely we'll get more. Who's Nier? Nier is, um, the character that just disappeared. Um... The main character, the guy with the white hair. Basically, he's um, the body slash shell, right? And the boss we just fought before we fought um, Monster Kaine is that's like his soul. Oh, the Shadow Lord is is near, also. So there's like two of them basically. Yeah, he's like fighting his you know evil kind of twin kind of. But yeah, basically the guy who disappeared, the guy we're playing as, is, is near. Just like the credits lost it? Did the credits lose something? Wait, is there a credit for near in, in um, like, the voice acting and stuff in this version of the credits? Wait, I don't remember near the only one I remember is the white hair. <laughs> Okay, okay, I see what you're doing. <laughs> I see, I see your game. <gasps> Man. Yeah, I guess. Wait, Kira Buckland. It, that's um Kaine though, right? Why is she also like Kyle McCarley? Okay, that that's um Young Near. 
Okay, so I guess they also changed their uh, the credits to question mark, question mark, question mark. But I wonder why Kaine is also changed. I feel I feel like Kira Buckland must have been her voice, right? Or was it someone else? I guess that's the reason why they don't let you skip the credits in this game. Just just so you see those in like the fourth ending. <laughs> Who's Natsuki Hanai? Is that the Japanese voice actor? Oh, wait, two B and Night. They're not though, right? I... Are you messing with me? I feel like they definitely had different credits in, in like ending A, B, and C. I mean, I know they did voice um, 2B and 9S, I think. Wait, there's, there's another one that I missed. <gasps> I missed one. To, like super focused on the credits now just so just so if anything happens it's like okay i saw that why are there like sounds going on in the background Do you guys hear that? Yui Ishikawa. Because there's no music. But what's the sounds? There's like, I don't know, scratching sounds or something. Imagine a jump scare happens. There he goes. Thanks for playing. Wait, that's it? <laughs> that's really, really it? That's really, 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 really it? And we, we get a new um title screen. Let me hide my... <laughs> We get this. We get the, the Lunar Tear from Kaine. Now start a new game. Continue. <laughs> continue. I want to continue. <laughs> I don't want to start a new game. Uh, okay. Wait, can you do like Shadow Lord? Is that gonna allow that? Is that gonna be allowed? I guess you can. <laughs> the main menu actually makes me feel unsettled. It seems off. Does it? I don't know. I feel like it's... Um, what's the right word? I guess it would be kind of like melancholy to me. But you can't do near, really? I wonder if it's specifically that you can't do near, or if you just can't do the same uh, character that did that did the ending D. Or if we did like <laughs> there we go, we did it, we won. Take that, Yoko Taro.
a Scrimor Nor. Okay. When we first played this game, at the very beginning, because I feel like this is like pretty much the same sequence, but was it always Noir? Me when I see a book. So this actually makes sense now, like, I was wondering at the very beginning of the game why there was like a time skip from now into the future, and it's, it is actually because um, the character from, from this segment is different from the rest of the game. This is the Shadow Lord, slash, yeah. <laughs> Gotta go see you. See you. Thanks for coming. I guess Yona is like okay. dying in every timeline. I I think so. I'm sorry. <laughs> It'll stop in a second. I promise. <laughs> but what about those monsters? Are they are they gonna come back for me? Don't worry, Yona. I won't let those things anywhere near you. <laughs> Sit tight. I'm gonna go see if I can find something to eat. Is that the same bug? I thought. Oh, and Yona. Yeah? Don't touch that book. Not ever. Got it? Got it. Okay. Yeah, okay, that is, um... Damn! Yeah. How many of these things are there? They just keep coming! I guess that's also why... <laughs> it's also why the um what is it? the name of the person speaking is question mark question mark question mark it's all making sense now I did consider backing up my save data. I did consider it. I didn't do it though. I didn't. I did for Automata, but I didn't for this one.
illegal. Um, no, it's called skill. It's called, um, you know, making use of technological abilities. I didn't do it this time, okay? That's what counts. It's like character development or something. Way weaker than Dark Hand. What happens if you actually die here? If there's like anything? I'm guessing there isn't though. Dark Lens. Okay, this one's good. I like Dark Lens. Happy with that. weapons. If only I had them. Did I mess that up? <laughs> Genuinely? One more time, one more time. I got it. Wait a minute. Level 30? Did we always get level 30 from this? She has a different book. Here. We can split it. No, you take it. No, you need to eat too. Fine, I'll take the small half. No, 
Come on. You need to keep up your strength. <coughs> <coughs> cookie moment. I want a cookie. Can you please give me one? I don't know. Chocolate chip cookie? Yeah, that would be good. I'm sorry, I dropped the cookie. I didn't mean to. Yona? Why did you? You've always been the one helping me. So, so, I just wanted you. No, Yona! Yona! And then they were saved. And then Near Replicant was over. Crazy. See, there's the credits. We're done. We beat it. You know, after watching through like Drakengard 3, oh, Yoda. this, and Nier Automata, I feel like Yukotaro really likes his destroyed cities. He just loves them. and 12 years later. All right, I'm heading out. <laughs> Can I come with you today? Better not. I'm probably going hunting. <sighs> okay. But I'll bring you back a book from the library, okay? Yay! Thanks! I'll see you later. Try and get some rest. Okay. So, I guess we really are, you know, back at the very, very beginning. We're also back at level one again. But... Does that mean, I guess, um, see what is up to. ending E is going to be yet another run through the Shadow Lord's castle? Is that how it's going to be? A fifth one? <laughs> I don't know. I thought it would be, like, completely different or something. That's what I expected. I expected, like, I don't know. <laughs> something that, that that's not... Another run. Don't worry about it. I am worrying about it. It's the only thing that's on my mind right now. And probably will be for the rest of time. You're gonna get all your notes back because it's worth it. Uh, uh. Wait, do we have to play through all four endings again? Is it gonna be like that? Or is it just gonna be like, you know, one, one playthrough? <laughs> Cause some of those notes, I feel like, I feel like you need at least root B for some of those notes. Okay, no, it's just one. Surely you don't get all of them in the first run. Also my weapons, my poor weapons. <laughs> Wait, where am I going? I thought I wanted to get a book from the library or something. But I guess not. We're going hunting. Never mind. We're going to the library. Just kidding. 
That was a test. Good morning. How's Yona doing today? Her cough's still pretty bad. Hmm. That's worrisome. I know. I keep hoping she'll at least get a little better, but I don't know. I feel like I'm failing her. Oh, stop that. You're the finest brother a girl could hope to have. Anyway, I was hoping you might take care of this for me. I got a request from someone in the shopping district. They need you to get some mutton from the Northern Plains. Got it. I'm on my way. Since you're going to the Plains, let me give you a map. Trust me, it'll come in handy. Oh, and one more thing. Would you mind purchasing three medicinal herbs from the client while you're at it? I used my last one. Here's some money. Hopala, this is way too much. Can you buy like three herbs for me, please? Here's a thousand dollars, by the way. Well then, buy some for Yona while you're at it. You don't have to. It's okay, really. Thanks, Popola, for everything. What's this all about? Just the way you and the other villagers always take care of us. We really appreciate it, is all. <laughs> Think nothing of it. People need to look out for each other, right? Besides, everyone here wants to see Yona healthy and happy. So hang in there, okay? I will. What's she doing here? What's she doing here? Yona? Oh, hey. Yona, you're supposed to be in bed. See, now your ribbon's all undone. I'm sorry. I just thought I'd see if the library had any books about how to cure my sickness. Yona, look, don't worry. You're gonna be fine. You just need to eat and rest. If you take good care of yourself, you'll get better. You really think so? I know so. Anyway, I've got work to do, so I need you to head home. Deal? Deal. Alright, and then she'll definitely go home. People say the world is dying. Populations continue to fall, while plague and disease run rampant. If that wasn't enough, Monsters called Shades now roam the land as well, threatening our very lives. But I can't let any of that distract me. My sister is sick, and my only goal is to ensure that the two of us survive. It's not easy for a pair of kids to live on their own. But the villagers have been kind to us, and despite everything, somehow I feel like we're gonna be okay. We have to be. There's no other choice. All right, I guess we're getting the uh, mutton first. I saw there was like an achievement or something for like running over a hundred. I don't know, was it a hundred? Uh, running over some number of sheep on a boar or something. <laughs> And apparently you can only get that as like young near. You should probably go for that this this run. Lock on. Okay. How many of this do we need? There's just one. Wait a minute. We don't have <laughs> we don't have the grimoire. We can't check. <laughs> All right, let's just go for three and uh, hope that's the right number. I imagine it's probably one, but you know, better. Safe and sorry. Whoa, are you kidding me? I don't need a wall. I 
I need like aged beef steak. The second one. Or the beast steak. Yeah, that's what I need. These are goats. I don't need goat meat. I need sheep meat. Do not give me a woman. Okay, good. I better get this mutton back to the village. I don't think this works with the sword. Uh, it's okay. I don't know if it's faster or slower. Shades doing so close to town. Shades were loose so close to the village. Also, I just realized, but like, Baby Mirror has like a baby level HP bar. Or do you get more when you level up? It's probably that. It's probably that. I just never thought to take notice of it. I can't even go hunting in peace anymore. I can't hunt in peace anymore, these stupid shades. Time to get this meat to the shopkeeper. Even as a baby, near his shades. Do we need to buy them necessarily? Can we just pick them up? How's Yona doing? Here's that mutton you wanted. Oh, thank you. You wouldn't believe how popular this stuff has been lately. Oh, and this isn't much, but I'd like you to have it. And tell Popol I said thanks, okay? You got it. Wow, $600. I think Popola wanted three medicinal herbs. Make sure you... S Can we just buy two? Wait, this is perfect. Uh, do you really need a map for the forest? It's like a tiny Come place. Oh, hopefully that wasn't, you know, a waste of all my money there. I still can't believe all my weapons are gone. <laughs> Everything's gone. I don't mind using a one-handed sword or something, it just... I don't know. I worked hard on those things. <laughs> I woke up early-ish, early-ish once to, to finish all the weapons, all the quests to give the weapons. I grinded uh, upgrade materials. I delivered the mutton. Oh, and here's your herbs. Great. Here's that your herbs. The food shortage. Silent age. And thanks for the herbs too. That's all for today. You should hurry back to Yona. Thanks. All my weapons gone. They're not yours, they're mine. I just wanted to check. <laughs> just making sure. Welcome home. How'd it go today? Anything exciting happen? Cause I just stayed here all day like you told me to. I tried reading books, but I finished all of them. So if you have any fun stories, you should tell me. Hmm. Well, Popola told me about a legendary flower called a Lunar Tear. Have you heard of it? That's a silly name. I guess. But people say finding one will make you rich beyond your wildest dreams. If I ever found one, I'd buy you so many cookies your stomach would hurt. Could a Lunar Tear make me better? Sure. With that kind of money, we could buy the best medicine around. The kind that'll cure anything. Uh, Yona? 
What's wrong? It's nothing. Good night. Sorry, Yona. I spent all the money for your medicine on maps. <gasps> uh, my bad. Okay, I'm off to Popolis. See you later. And please stay out of trouble today, okay? Okay. Anything? I do have something, but I don't know. It's going to be a bit of an ordeal. I'm sure I can handle it. Aren't you confident? Uh, well, you know the little wooden bridge out in the northern plains, right? The one where the pillars all rotted out? Exactly. We had a team of carpenters working on it, but they were attacked by shades. Wait, really? But it's so sunny there. Yes, I know. Apparently, it was overcast that day, and the shades caught them off guard. One of the carpenters was seriously injured, but they can't move him so long as the shades are there. I'll go take him out. If you're up for it, it could be really dangerous. I'll be fine, Popola. I've been training every day. I'm as strong as anyone in the village. Heck, I killed a bunch of shades by the village gate just yesterday. Oh? That's a bit disconcerting. Anyway... Are you sure you want to take this job? Yep, I got this. All right. Oh my god, I can't believe there's no quest menu. I need a quest menu after like confirming every single thing in the game. Like, talk to an NPC, open quest menu. Uh, finish going through inventory, open quest menu. That's, that's me. Medicinal herb. Apparently that's common in North America. I can't believe that's, I can't believe that's true. I feel like my whole life is a lie because of that. That's all of them. That should take care of the shades for a while. Did it just try to kick me? I just walked close to it and it got so mad it wanted to kick me. Stupid, stupid sheep. I don't need your mutton or your wool. I want 
gonna discount GTA uh, RTX 4090. I'm around every game at 4K. You're back. Hey, Popola. Did everything go all right? Were you hurt? I'm fine. Oh, thank goodness. I was so worried. I felt like I sent you into a really dangerous situation, and if something had... Popola, look at me. I'm fine. I know, it's just... I'm just relieved is all. Oh, here. Those carpenters left some money for you. Wow, thanks. Wow, money. Go buy something nice for Yona, okay? Okay, let's let's reason. Let's, let's be reasonable about this, okay? 1,000 gold. What can we buy with 1,000 gold? Think about it. If one gold is one US dollar, this carpenter did not give us enough to buy an RTX 4090. Unfortunate. <laughs> now, if we look at how was price of gold. I mean, what is one gold? One ounce? What's like a one stock of gold? Uh, gold. I don't understand this. That is GC equals F. That is gold comics. I think it's 2,000 unches. Uh, <laughs> wait, one ounce of gold. I mean, I don't really know what an ounce is, but like, I know what an ounce is more than I know what like, whatever the heck that I just searched up before was. Per gram, $71.83. So we got 1,000 grams of gold. We just got $70,000. We can totally buy. We can buy multiple RTX 4090s. We can buy one for everyone who watches this stream. Oh, speaking of Yona, she came by this afternoon. Instead, this stupid kid buys medicine for his sick uh, sister. What a waste of money. Shaking my head. What? She was supposed to stay home. I think it's okay. She just wanted to ask me a question. About what? She was asking about the outside world. You mean outside the village? Exactly. She seemed excited too. Poor thing was talking a mile a minute. She's probably been getting nutty ideas from some book again. Stupid books. She should stop reading books. Don't worry. I made sure to remind her she isn't allowed beyond the gates. Thanks. But she was worried about you. So you'd better hurry home. Yeah, I will. Thanks again. today uh, I can't believe there's another game um, another run starting from the very very beginning from the very very beginning <laughs> oh that's pretty crazy yeah cuz I don't know I kind of expected I don't know I, I thought that root E uh, or like ending E would be like a pretty short addition to the game or something uh but turns out i <laughs> uh, hope you're hope you're excited to play the game again <laughs> again well again 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 there we go that's five and it's not that i don't want to okay it's not that i don't want to or that i hate replicant or i hate near or i hate yoko taro deep breath but you really have to do that to me to me specifically everyone else i mean whatever they can they can handle it right but but me <laughs> oh okay i mean i guess we have to 
you know, we're four endings in already. We have to finish it. So, <laughs> I guess at some point we'll uh, schedule. I, I say schedule, but they're not going to be scheduled. Uh, at some point we'll have another couple near streams, maybe two or three, probably, I don't know, I guess some some amount that's way higher than I expected of additional near streams <laughs> just for ending e. uh, but for today that will be all thanks for coming everybody um I love you all thank you and goodbye I'm not gonna get over it. I can't get over it. <laughs> really? Is this how it's gonna be? Also, also, okay. I'm not gonna lie about this. Um, I was looking forward to another kiss scene. <laughs> Uh, it, just, just a little bit. I, I just wanted to see a little bit, okay? Just, just a bit. I mean, surely ending E, you know? It, it's different, right? There's, there's new stuff. We're gonna have another, right? Or like two? Two or three? Uh, I think that's good. Yeah, that's a good amount. <laughs>